Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, yesterday I was lucky enough to finally get my hands on an Andariel's Visage. <laughs> Super excited about this one, because I've been wanting to test out the lifesteal ever since I heard about this item. I'm like, lifesteal in Diablo 4? How the hell does that work? And, um, well, you know, we don't know. So, I had to do some testing. Um, I've been testing for the past uh, hour and 37 minutes, and uh, I've come to a lot of interesting conclusions. Uh, before I come to my conclusions, um, let me pull up my testing data. You can see all of this on the live stream, of course, if you want to go back and take a look at it, um, all my testing and whatnot. And basically what I did was I did a lot of testing. I you know, wrote down my initial life. Um, wrote down my afterlife, you know, how much damage I did. I actually wrote down each number. Um, went through the process of trying to figure out exactly how much percentage it was stealing um, and so forth and so on. And what I came down to is roughly, not exactly, but roughly, it's not stealing 3%. I don't, I don't know what that 3% is. There must be some sort of penalties involved or something like that because it actually seems to be stealing about 0.37%. Or if you actually want to look at the full number, the full number is like 0 0.36623112723037. It's, it's silly. Um, we tested out a lot of different things, um, including um, whether or not healing bonuses worked. And from what we were able to, t to gather, it does seem like healing bonuses affect the life leech. Uh, because the number went up from 0.366 to 0.39. Um, every time we added in the healing bonus, it was always a little bit higher than all the other numbers. Um, we don't know exactly how much it's actually affecting it by, but it, it does seem to be changing the result to a higher number, uh, a higher percentage. Now, you might be asking how you can even come to like the equation with this well what you do is is you write down your total damage number um and you actually have to figure it all out on a calculator and you can you can run it on a calculator or there's this handy dandy tool by the way um but if you just subtract it so if you take three thousand uh five hundred sixty seven and you go minus ninety nine point i believe it's six Zero, five, three, uh, five, three, six, six, seven. It's terrible. Eight, seven. I'm not going to go the whole amount, but that's that's good enough. Uh, percent, and you type in percent, and then you hit equal, and you end up with a number. As you can see, 1,408. Of course, I didn't get it exactly right because I didn't type in all ridiculously long digits of the number. Um, and we end up with a difference. Well, the difference was 1,408. As you can see, 1,408. So we ended up with uh, approximately... Uh, it, it, what we what we seem to be pretty sure of is it's around 0.36 or 0.37 is what it's actually stealing. And when you add in the 12% healing bonus, it seems to go up to 0.39. Um, although it seems variable, it doesn't it doesn't always have the exact name same percentage, but it's around that percentage. Uh, we tested a lot more than that, though. Uh, we wanted to see if there was a cap on maximum life leech per hit, so we hit a monster for a ridiculously large amount of damage. You didn't seem to change the equation in any kind of negative way. Um, in fact, the really large hit actually had um, a very odd percentage of 0.84 for some reason. This was the hit that did 692,687 for the total damage done, including bleed effects. Um, and it had a rather large amount of life steal in return, as opposed to the smaller hits, which seemed to be pretty steady at 0.37. Almost as if, um, the larger hit was actually pulling more life leech than the smaller hits, which which was the opposite of my theory that the maximum life leech had some sort of cap on it. So, like, you know, say if you hit for, like, 100 million damage, right? Well, you know, even 0.37 of 100 million damage is still a lot. I mean, you can take 100 million and you could subtract 
percent, and that still is three hundred and seventy thousand life, right? So my idea was, is well, there must be some kind of cap because otherwise that would be insane, and well, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Um, the next theory that we had was, is there any kind of penalties involved? And it does seem to be penalties because it's not three percent. Um, it, it's not three percent of the exact number. So if we were to take um, I don't know, just as an example, uh, if you took 5,000 damage and you subtract 97%, which gives you um, a 3% difference, that's 150 life. Um, but every single time we checked the 3% number, it never matched up. Um, so as you can see here, we have the difference of 48, 3% is 387. So we should have gotten 387.15 life, but instead we got 48 life. Um, it's kind of interesting it, the, the whole thing uh, has been a very fun little test here um we also thought perhaps maybe multiple life leeches can't happen simultaneously so what we did was is we tested several different ways um because of course we had like the bleeds and all the other things going on so we did single hits so just just single hits of damage and the single hits of damage always ended up somewhere around the same percentage there was no real change between the single hits and the multiple hits. Um, so it seems like you can hit as many times as you want to. Doesn't matter. Uh, we also were wondering if maybe crits and overpowers would mess with the leech. Uh, this was disproven. We checked both crits, overpowers, and uh, non crits, and they all seem to hold steady around the 0 0.36, 0 0.37 number. Uh, there were, didn't, didn't really seem to be much change, if at all, uh, between the crits, the non crits, and the overpowers, and the overpower crits. So that, uh, that seems to be disproven as well. Um, we did prove that healing bonuses do seem to affect it. Uh, we don't know exactly how much they're affecting it by because the numbers seem very odd. Um, do minions steal life? Uh, the answer is no. Minions do not steal life at all. Uh, we had an odd situation where the shadow mages seem to be stealing life. But what it turned out to be was that they were triggering the Shadow Blight key passive. And because they were triggering the, the, the Shadow Blight key passive, they were actually um, causing Life Leech to happen. But it wasn't from them. Um, I tested all the other mages, the Cold Mages and the Shadow Mages. Uh, cold Mages, Shadow Mages, and the Bone Mages. And only the Shadow Mages were capable of triggering the Shadow Blight key passive. And that's why that worked. I also tested, of course, um, turning off the Shadow Blight key passive. And when I turned off the Shadow Blight key passive, the Shadow Mages no longer drained life. Or, or yeah, no longer stole life for me. So, interesting. Um, does elemental damage work? Yes. So all elemental damage can steal life. Um, I can. You can see this right now just simply by using Blight. So if I sit here and I just hit the dummy with Blight, you'll see my life go up. Um, does it trigger temerity? Yes. Um, it does trigger temerity, and it triggers it very nicely. Um, do you actually have to hit a monster to trigger the life leech? The answer is yes. So if you just use blight on the wall or something like that, or you just, you know, like, attack the air, you're not going to get any life leech. So unlike the undying power, which is in here, um, the undying power can actually leech, leech, leech life just, just using an ability. So if you take the ability and you just throw it on here and you just use the ability, you'll see your life go up. Um, but the uh, the ladder doesn't work that way. Uh, what was it? Domination. Um, I mean, all in all, the life leech seems pretty potent, though. Um, it does require that you actually hit a target, obviously. And, uh, and it's it's... Just not giving exactly 3%, and I always assumed that it wouldn't. My, my assumption was always that it would be less than what it actually stated, and the reason for this is because I'm used to games like Diablo 2, which have overly complicated life leech formulas. Now, we don't know the exact formula for the life leech in Diablo 4 yet. Maybe one day. Um, but this is the, the life leech formula for Diablo 2. Um, as you can see, it's total damage times leech times penalty, times drain effectiveness, so there's multiple things going on. Drain effectiveness, which is right here, has to do with the monster itself. Certain monsters let you drain less life than others. So some monsters have no resistance to life leech whatsoever, and others might be 50% resistance to life leech. That is the drain effectiveness. There's also a penalty. A penalty has to do with the 
the difficulty that you're in. Um, and that's something that um, it was in Diablo 2. I don't know if that's in this game. It hardly matters, though, because in Diablo 2 and in Diablo 4, you're going to do most of your work, if not all of your work, in the highest difficulty setting. That's just how things work. So you're pretty much always in hell, and you're pretty much, you know, like always in World Tier 4. So even if there is a lower penalty on lower difficulties, it doesn't matter because you're not getting Andariel's Visage until you're in World Tier 4 because it does only drop from level 85 plus monsters. And um, on top of this, well, I mean, even if you did go to a lower difficulty, it wouldn't really matter at that point, would it? So if the penalty does exist within World Tier 4, it is a permanent penalty, which is always going to affect your life leech damage. Um, and then, of course, the percentage itself matters. And then in Diablo 2, it only worked on physical damage, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to check it against elemental damage. Now, let's go over the item itself, and let's talk about it together. So first off, Andoriel's Visage is an ancestral unique item that drops from, uh, special drops from Duriel. Um, you can get it if you get, like, Lotto Lucky from the rest of the world, as long as the monster is level 85 plus, but pff, there's been very few of those so far. Um, I got this one from Duriel myself uh, just the other day. Uh, it has a very nice 27 all stats, uh, which, of course, that's when it's upgraded five times. All stats is absolutely amazing for things like the Paragon board. So if you're trying to fill in stats, like, say, willpower for, you know, a node or something like that, it's absolutely amazing to have all those all stats because it makes it a lot easier to hit those, those numbers. Uh, it has 15% attack speed, which is absolutely insane. And 15% attack speed is a lot. Um, especially considering that normally if you have a helmet, like a normal bland helmet, you can get like 10 to 15 percent basic skill attack speed, but you can't get raw attack speed on this item on this in this particular slot. So it's just one of the things. Uh, on top of this, we also got the three percent life steal, which we've already covered, uh, which is pretty darn amazing to be honest, and pairs very well with things like temerity. Um, as well as anything that, uh, well, is going to give you even more life leech when you hit. Uh, like, as we've discovered, the healing percentage also affects it. Um, on top of this, we have 90% poison resistance. You're pretty much never going to have to worry about poison resistance again, uh, because it gives you a butt ton of poison resistance. In fact, if I have any poison res on my character while wearing this, I could probably just take it off. Um, then we have the lucky hit up to a 20% chance to trigger a poison nova that applies 15,513 poisoning damage over 5 seconds to enemies in the area. Now this is actually uh, pretty cool and I do have a little clip of myself actually proccing this. Um, I'm going to show you first off just what it looks like and then we're going to go over the slow-mo and you can actually see it in action. Now 20% lucky hit doesn't mean it's going to go off all the time. So there it was right there. Very fast. Very difficult to see. However, I do have a clip here. And we're going to go over this one. Uh, so this is the clip of the actual explosion happening. So this is the first frame of the explosion. A very bright green flash in the center of your character. And as you can see, it's starting to grow. And then it slowly pulses outward until it eventually hits its maximum range. And then it's finished. Very quick. I wish it was a little bit more flashy, like the Diablo 2 version. Uh, the Diablo 2 version, I think, just looks superior. It's almost mesmerizing, in my opinion. And I love the sound effect that it makes. This one is very much so muted and very hard to see. Um, it's also very quick. The entire animation takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven frames and it's gone basically um, so after about seven frames it's gone and we're talking about you know normally we have like 60 frames a second so seven frames is a, a fraction of a second most of the time you're not even going to see it actually occur uh, this particular nova effect though is pretty cool though because it obviously gives poison damage characters a way to scale poison damage um, and also have an AoE effect as well. So, like, for instance, let's say you're a rogue um, and you're scaling poison, you know, like, imbuement, um, and you have all the really nice nodes, or you're a uh, druid that's scaling poison and you have, like, all the really nice nodes like Tracker and all that other stuff and Bane that are giving you the poison damage increases, right? This is a way that you can 
take advantage of all that scaling that you have on those characters, and you can basically make it so that you just have a constant AoE pulsing poison on everything nearby, which is absolutely great. Now, the other really cool thing about this is the interaction between the poison and the life leech. All damage over time effects will leech life back to you, which means that when you are utilizing the poison nova aspect of this and you poison tons of monsters around you in a circle you're going to get tons of life regeneration in return for each pulse of the poison that hits all these targets which is absolutely great um, i mean imagine for instance if you have say 50 monsters around you and the poison nova prox now you have 50 monsters that are all taking a damage over time effect and the damage over time attack effect is pulsing for five seconds which means you have five seconds worth of healing which is just going to be coming in and filling up your hp bar now as we've determined it's not like the most amazing thing in the world um as you can see by my numbers here um like for instance when i did uh uh, damage wise, when I did 5,304 damage, I only got back 20 life, right? Um, if you go all the way up here and you take a look at one of my bigger numbers, uh, when I did 692,687 damage, I got back a total of 5,897 life, which is pretty decent. Um, so it's going to take some relatively large hits to get back large amounts of HP. Now, the cool thing is, is you could potentially combine this with um, the new Undying Power for this season. So if you do happen to get your hands on one this season, you can combine it with the 3% heal that you get from the Undying Power. And you could have a double heal running, uh, which would basically make your character immortal for the most part. Um, and if you combine that with Temerity, Temerity would give you a barrier every single time you heal yourself over your maximum HP. So you could have a permanent barrier uptime between Undying and Dariel's Visage and Temerity um, and essentially keep yourself at full life all the time, making yourself extremely tanky, essentially, right? And, uh, and there's other ways that you could take advantage of healing. Like, for instance, the Necromancer has some aspects, and I'm pretty sure... Let's type in heal. I think I have some of these hiding in here. Um, there are aspects like on the Necromancer that will reward you for healing yourself over your maximum life. And I don't know if I actually have any of them. Uh, there it is. So uh, gain 30 of your primary resource for every 25% of your life that you heal. So in this particular case, if you were to combine, um, say, you know, the Undying Power and Indariel's Visage, you could get like almost permanent resource restoration as well through the process of healing yourself. So there's a lot of really effective ways that you can use Andariel's Visage Lifesteal to your benefit. And, uh, and of course, after this particular season ends and the Undying Power goes bye-bye, Andariel's Visage will again be the only real reliable way to leech life, right? So at that point, um, if you still have your Andariel's Visage, well, you're going to obviously want to keep it because it's going to be an extremely powerful item for you to use to, you know, for, for whatever particular reason. It's going to be sad when we go to the next season and we lose all our uber uniques, though. <laughs> I finally managed to get some after a million days. Don't be too jealous of me about having these super uniques because, quite honestly, it was like 23 days of straight farming Duriel for me to get my hands on these, so... You can go. You guys can go suck it if you're jealous. <laughs> uh, and Ariel's Visage does have a special um, flavor text. The horrific whispers of the Maiden of Anguish flicker through your mind, pushing you ever closer to madness. Um, now, if you do happen to find this on a lower level character, um, it actually gets a lower level. We actually have seen this happen. So if you find it on like a level 60 character, it'll it'll be level 60. It can only go as low as level 60, though, because it is an ancestral unique item. Um, and, of course, it still has to drop from a monster that's level 85 or higher. Duriel is, of course, level 100, so it doesn't matter. Um, but if you do kill a monster that's level 85 or higher, they have a chance of dropping these uber uniques. And when I say a chance, I mean, like, you basically won the lottery, like, kind of a chance. Duriel has a much better chance of dropping these than anything else. 
Um, I think this video is already long enough. It's like 20 minutes, and I've covered just about everything I can. If you have any questions about the life leech um, or how the effects work, um, feel free to post down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.